You know, it's funny. I, I never wanted to play volleyball. Like I was, a, I wanted to go to Juilliard and do um, music and theater. Yeah, I played the violin like all my life and acted. And then, then I just grew and they were like, you need to play a sport. So here I am. <laughs> my life story in 20 seconds. <laughs> Quiet on the set. Interview, take four, marker. So I'm from Long Beach, California, and I started playing volleyball legit when I was in high school, actually, my freshman year. My whole family is like theater, music background, so that's all I've ever really known. I started playing the violin when I was in the third grade. My Nana bought me my first violin. My dad is an amazing bass player. His mom, my Nana, is a jazz singer, and then her parents were jazz singers in New York. Um, my great-grandfather played for Aretha Franklin, and my great-grandmother did entertaining for like Frank Sinatra. And then on my mom's side, everyone's musical too. My mom's in the choir, so that's really all I knew. And then when when I got to high school, first day of school, actually, they had volleyball tryouts. And so I just went for kicks and I was terrible, but I was tall. I think I was like 6'2 my freshman year, 13, yeah, 6'2. And then they were just like, you're on JV, like you can't do anything, but you're just gonna be on the team. And then over that summer, I sprouted up to 6'5, going into my sophomore year. And then I've been playing ever since, really. The cool thing about volleyball is it's still entertaining, you know? Even though it may not be with a violin or, or with a microphone, it's still entertainment. It's still something people love to watch. So technically I never stopped entertaining, just kind of switched gears a little bit. So my freshman year, actually, uh, I played club, I played up. So I played with like the 17s and we had a tournament in Atlanta. There were tons of college coaches and scouts around our court and I had never seen anything like that before and my coach was telling me like they're here to see you guys like they're not just hanging out for fun like they're recruiting in my head I'm still trying to go to Juilliard I'm just thinking volleyball is for fun I'm trying to figure out okay this is great but like how am I going to get to Juilliard and um, then I start getting all of these um, letters from these amazing universities and then it's kind of like we might have to put Juilliard on hold like this is free like these people want to pay you then I went to Purdue and I fell in love and that was a wrap for me. And the Big Ten is just a different beast in itself. You know, I'd never seen competition like that. You've always heard about Penn State and Purdue and Minnesota, all these schools, but to play them like every night was just like mind blowing. It was just night after night having a sold out crowd and just fans that literally will drive in the snow for you, like blizzards for you is something I, I never experienced before. The first couple of games was, was just shocking and it made me hungry. I wanted to learn, I wanted to be better and I didn't mind getting beat up a little bit. I never was a player that worked hard. I just kind of went off my height if we're being tr just transparent. And so when I got to Purdue, it was like, okay, well, everyone's tall, everyone's huge. Like you're gonna have to do more than that. Dave and the whole coaching staff was just really patient with me and they saw the potential in me that I didn't really see in myself. Um, so pretty much everything had to improve. Yeah, I graduated December 2018. It was kind of like, why stop the train if we're rolling, you know? There's no rush to become a real adult yet, so we might as well just keep playing while we can. So right after that in January, I went to Turkey, and that's when I started my first season. It is a big learning experience, and it teaches you, A, how to humble yourself, and how to adapt quickly. Um, you know, when you're at home, you're speaking your language, you're eating your food, you're on your time. But when you live somewhere else, you're on someone else's time. You're in someone else's country, you're in someone else's home. And a lot of times people, especially on these sports teams, they're vets. I'm playing with, you know, 28, 29, 30 year olds, moms, wives. So their priority isn't me. Their priority isn't a rookie, you know, trying to teach her how to do X, Y, and Z. And I'm so, so, so thankful that I was able to have Kirsty. My first year, she was like my mom. Like I call her mom. She took care of me. She drove me everywhere. She showed me how this is how you act, this is how you don't act, this is how you handle X, Y, and Z. And a lot of players aren't fortunate enough to have someone like her in their corner for their first season. There's just nothing like being at home. There's nothing like playing in front of your fans and eating your food and, and being able to see your family after a game. There's just nothing like it. And so when Jordan uh, had reached out to me about it, I was like, this is it. Like, this is, I just, I knew how it felt playing in college and to have that atmosphere like times 10 with a pro environment, I just knew that this is something that can really expand our sport. We're in the United States, like the biggest media market in the world. And I think that our exposure is limited to just college for one, obviously that's all that's been here, but also even how college is shown. For example, you only see certain games that are just like super big rivalry matches 
or the championship games, you know? It's not something that little girls like, oh dad, can you turn to TNT at seven? Volleyball's gonna be on, that's not it. You either have to be on like the Big 10 or the Pac-12, you know, it's very narrow. I think the audience would be so much bigger. At most of our games, a lot of my friends that played on, on the football team or the basketball team came to our games. They enjoy volleyball, you know? Maybe there are other reasons, who knows? But for the most part, they came. And I think if people just know about it, that. Um, our play and our talent will speak for itself. So that's my biggest thing. That's the goal that I'm hoping to accomplish is, is just exposure. Letting people know like volleyball is more than just cute girls that hit a ball in spandex. Like let's just keep it 100 for what it is. Like no, we're really strong athletes. We're amazing at what we do. We're entertaining. Like this is something everyone needs to be interested in. And if I can be a part of that pioneering, why wouldn't I want to take that opportunity?